They even have these pretty awesome Good morning YouTube. So we're just rolling out of the park here that we slept at last night. This beachside park was actually pretty stunning last night with the sunset. If you guys got to see that in last night's video, it was quite spectacular. But I did sleep pretty well. I slept actually quite well. I slept in the tent actually last night. If I did sleep outside under the stars without the tent, I probably would have got eaten alive by mozzies. I know Eric was sleeping outside of the tent there for a little bit and the mozzie's got like his neck and stuff. So I'm glad I got to sleep in the tent last night. But right now I'm rolling out. I gotta to head to Lawson and eat a frog and edit a video. I made it here to the Lawson that right yesterday as well. We're just eating some frogs. Frogs I mean, uploading YouTube videos. We're getting those uploaded so you guys can view them. I got mine done for the day. So we're soon gonna be rolling out. I'm just gonna go in there and get something to eat for breakfast, I guess you could say, cause it's like 10.36 right now. And then we're gonna roll out. But I wanted to tell you guys something, give you guys an update for this trip. So today is Tuesday. On Friday, we're leaving Japan to fly to Bangkok. So we're flying out of Japan. So the Japan vlogs will be ended in the next four days or so. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue daily vlogging. I only like to vlog when I'm experiencing fun and exciting things to share with you all. Because what's the point of vlogging if it's not fun? or no one's gonna enjoy watching it. So I just wanna put fun and exciting content out there. But also it's an opportunity to explore another country. I'm actually pretty hooked on traveling. I think I have the travel bug and I wanna keep traveling and find and discover new countries. And it's perfect that CP is going to Thailand, Bangkok, and he invited me to come along with him for maybe 10 days or so. Then we've made plans to make our way to Bangkok. But I also do have plans when I get back to Australia, do a bike tour there. I I live in Melbourne or near the city of Melbourne in Victoria. I was actually considering flying in from Bangkok to Sydney and then riding down the east coast of Australia to Melbourne. And my plan was to vlog that adventure as well. It's probably gonna be like 15, maybe a little bit more days of content as well. So that's definitely something to look forward to if you're enjoying the bike touring content. So we're making our way about 10 k's down the road to this pretty epic place where this apparent whirlpool effect happens on the water that's sort of below the bridge where you can view it from a lookout and it's quite an occurrence. I've never actually heard of anything like it it's kind of like the same formation a cyclone makes when it's in the clouds. It kind of has that whirlpool effect. So hopefully we can get to see that today. We're just rolling along the coast here. Some beautiful scenery here to my right. We're getting pretty close to the whirlpool mystery that we've seen photos of. It's just by this bridge that's just up ahead. I believe the viewing spot is somewhere by that bridge. But since being in Japan, I've noticed quite a lot of military activity in regards to military vehicles. We saw some military blokes at the front of a convenience store in like a military truck. We've seen the military helicopters. And I'm not sure if it's got anything related to do with the Korea and US situation at the moment. I don't know much about it because my head's been out of the news since this whole trip. It's actually one of the good things about going on these sort of trips is you get out of the news and all the conflict and, and all the negativity, if you want to call it negativity, that's portrayed in the news. So it's good to get out of it. But we have stopped here on the side of the road. CP is super keen to find a crab. Yesterday's video he was trying to find one and today he's uh, trying again. I just noticed something sort of flopping around in the shallow water. I think it's a scuba diver or a seal. It looks like a human. Must be someone diving down there. So we made it to the lookout spot for this awesome phenomenon of like a whirling sensation. I don't even know what it is, it's just crazy. It's like an effect that's caused by like the tides. It caused like a cyclone sort of looking effect. Wow. It caused some cyclone looking effect on top of the water. And the viewing spot's just up here. So hopefully today we can see it. They're also jamming some vintage American tunes. 
we're at the most southern point of Awaji Island, where we are right here. We actually were up here this morning at this bathing beach, right about there. We rode along here and we are about here right now and, and this is where we can view the whirling effect thing on top of the water. They also have like a pirate ship uh, boat that actually comes out and views it as well. But I think we're going to be exploring much more of this island in the next few days. We're going to probably like ride along the outer side of the, of the island all the way back to almost the top of it before we leave. But this island has so much stuff to do according to this map. I have hiking here, get to see some monkeys, they have a tomb. This island is the island of onions. We're inside one of the shops here and they just have onions everything. They even have an onion drink here as well. 100% onion. Thank you. They also have these onion wigs here as well. So there is a little bit of movement over there, but it's nothing like the picture suggests. It's not a complete circular whirl like we're expecting. It's definitely a strong looking current. It would definitely be pretty difficult to swim, canoe, do any other water sports in, but unfortunately it just doesn't really look like it does on the picture. Maybe it's just from the angle that we're sort of viewing it from, I'm not sure. In my opinion, I probably wouldn't recommend like coming to check it out. It's like not that good. There was quite a lot of hype about it, like through the photos and stuff, but it just didn't portray that in real life. I'm actually quite glad they didn't charge us any money to view it, because that would have been quite disappointing. It was worth the effort, I'd say, of riding up and down the hills to get here. So we're gonna have to ride up and down those hills to get back out again. But the bridge is actually quite fascinating though. On the other hand though, this natural phenomenon actually occurs every six hours. So I don't think we're here at the exact time to see these whirlpools. So don't take my word for the negative connotation I directed towards it. It actually appears that it is quite the phenomenon when it's able to be viewed. During the seasons of spring and fall, they say that the whirlpools have a diameter of up to 30 meters, and that's some of the biggest ones in the world. So the whirlpools are actually created from the difference in water level between the tidal flows from the Seto inland sea and the Pacific Ocean, which creates the strong riptides. So considering this is the island of onions, we have onion ice cream. Yeah, what do you know? Did not record. Oh. oh wow. It tastes like onion. It's like an onion dip. It tastes like onion dip. But cold. Yeah, a frozen onion dip. You like it? Yeah, it's definitely better than the raw onions we tried yesterday. This dude's definitely loving his ice cream. They even have these pretty awesome <laughs> onion wigs. Don't make you cry. <laughs> so if you get to the whirlpool at the right time, this is what you can expect to see. We're gonna make our way into the little restaurant they have here. They sell like gourmet burgers. So they're taking opportunity of the huge supply of onions that they have here and putting them in burgers. So it should be pretty cool to try. So the burger has arrived. Awa Jashima burger. Onion ring burger. right now on my GoPro. This GoPro has horrible audio, so this is probably like the worst filming conditions ever. But both of my cameras are actually destroyed, or they're just not working. The lens covering here on the purple one stopped working, so I had to try and glue that together. But when I try to turn it on, the lens is stuck. There must be like sand in the lens. So that doesn't open. And also my main vlogging camera, this one here, the Canon 300HS. I just went to charge the battery, I took the battery out to charge it. And when I turn it on, the lens doesn't come out and it's saying lens error on this one as well. So I just tested this GoPro's audio quality on my MacBook here. And to be honest, it's pretty bad. Now I'm sorry, but you're just gonna have to put up with it for the end of this video. It's almost like this one gave this one the same freaking disease. This one's coming up with like a lens error, and this one had the lens error first. So I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna have to retire these ones.
thanks for watching the video today everyone if you're enjoying these videos make sure you give me a thumbs up also drop a comment down below if you have any questions thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video